have that shirt. Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's late in the season. I want to say it's, uh, what day is it today? Uh, October, no, 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 it's okay. I think it's like October, it's late October. Yeah. Maybe it's late uh, um, October 23rd, 24th. No, it's October 25th. 25th, it's October 25th. And today it's very, very late. I wouldn't even call this end of season. This is like post season. Uh, so this is the, the fig post season. This is like the playoffs here, except um, it's not the best of the figs. It's actually eh, probably some of the worst of the figs that we're gonna we're gonna try all year. But still some good varieties here, just really bad ripening conditions. So, <clears throat> but I was just walking around and I found some more figs on my trees. I thought they were all done. You know, there's there's wasps everywhere. There's there's yellow jackets. There's there's flies. There's uh, SWD all over the place. But I did find some figs, most of which were in some. Um, Organza bags. I got just off camera here. I got a bunch more figs here. Uh, most of them were in organza bags. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. That's still a good one. Um, so they were still protected. A few of these were not in organza bags, so they might. Eh, you know, I'm gonna judge those when I cut them open. You know, are those gonna be okay to eat or not? I'm not. I'm not sure. Um, <coughs> I didn't label these, but I think I can remember which ones are which here. So, um, and I don't know if any of these are gonna taste good at all. I mean, it's just really, really late in the season here. But I, I thought, hey. I got some figs that look okay, so, uh, you know, we can try them out, right? I'll test them first, and if they're good, I'll let you have some, okay? All right, uh, so this first one here is Regatta Rosa A, and uh, I had some of these earlier in the season, and I just saw this one on the tree. I think it had an organza bag on it, um, so I figured I'd take a look at it. Okay, so, uh, and you can see actually the color on the outside, um, um, kind of the darker brown. This is probably darker brown than any of the previous ones I've seen. Uh, so there's the inside. Um, it looks edible. Uh, do you want to try this one? Let me try this one first. Let me see if it's edible. If it's good, I'll, I'll give you one. Hmm. Well, it's a little sour. You want to try it? Okay, here, try that little piece there. Try that little piece. Yeah, tell me if that's any good or no. It's sour. It is sour, I know. There's just not a lot of sweetness there. Mm -hmm. You know, without the heat, <clears throat> without the sun, you just don't get the uh, you just don't get the flavor really. All right, so next, this plate here. Let me uh, let me fix this a little bit. There we go. All right, so all of these figs here on this plate <clears throat> are Nuestra Señora del Carmen, uh, which you know many people. Uh, I've said has a good taste, uh, but it is also, uh, I think at this point, it, it, it's, uh, it's becoming fairly well known that this is a, this is a late fig, right? So if you're gonna, if you're in a, a climate that has a shorter season than I do here in Northern Virginia, you ought to think very carefully about whether you wanna get this fig, um, cause it's definitely a late fig. So, uh, here's the inside there. And again, this is the end of October, so this looks okay, actually. Let me try some of this. Eh. You know, one thing I've noticed about Nuestra Senora del Carmen, when it starts getting real late in the season, I start getting a little bit of a, a little bit of a, a bad taste in the skin. And I noticed that with uh, boysenberry blush as well, except it was a lot more extreme with boysenberry blush. Um, Nuestra Senora del Carmen has that also, that kind of off taste in the skin, which do, which is not present at all, you know, in um, you know, in like August or September. But but as you get into October, you start getting like a little bit of off taste in the skin, and, and it's not real good, unfortunately. So in addition to being late, it also um, tends to develop kind of a little bit of an off taste in the skin, really late in the season. So. You know, in my opinion, you want to make sure you ripen this one uh, well in September, really. So, like in this climate, you'd you'd really want to give this thing much of, as much of a head start as you could, or just have a longer season. So, for the folks that have the longer season, congratulations. All right. Uh, well, I got a bunch of these here. So, tell you what, I'm just going to eat the pulp because I know the skin has kind of a off flavor. So, let me just eat the pulp.
Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the figs just aren't sweet anymore. So just eat the red part, buddy. Just try the red part. Don't eat the skin because the skin tastes kind of nasty. Okay. How was it? Okay, yes. Yeah, the one I just ate actually was a little sweeter. Mm -hmm. this one's good. I still wouldn't recommend eating the skin, though. Mm. Yeah, that one's all right, actually. All right. Well, these are some good. Uh, these are these are okay. These are okay. Just don't eat the skin. All right. See what? I'm gonna move on to the next one here. This one kind of got smashed a little bit, and so it kind of broke open. But it was looking, it it was looking um, good before I smashed it. This is Algerian Chetoy. Chetoy. I was corrected on the pronunciation of it. Uh, I was calling it Chetui. A while ago, but Chetoy, oh my goodness, look at that! Look at that, that's crazy. Hmm? Algerian Chetoy, Chetoy. Hmm? And what's what's even more crazy about this is this was one of them, along with this one, that did not have an organza bag on it. So, how that happened, how this thing ripened like this and and didn't get infested with SWD and and didn't have a bag on it, I don't know. Um, but this looks uh, incredible. Uh, here, uh, hold on, hold on. Let me let me try one, and then I'll let you know if it's okay. Okay? Because okay. I do have to I do have to test it first. All right, here we go. Algerian Chetoy. It's okay. Um, it's not sour. It's uh, it's not a lot of flavor. Not a lot of flavor. Uh, just a little bit. Just a little bit of flavor. It's not a bad taste at all. Um, really pretty incredible that that um, ripened like that at the end of October. And you'll notice how it looks different too than it did earlier in the season. Earlier in the season, it looked uh, you know it had the it had the kind of uh, wrinkles on it and stuff. Um, it was kind of a prettier fig. I mean, it, it really does look different now, but it's still the same fig, still the same tree. I got two of them. Let me try. Let me let me see if this one is infested. Hmm. It looks okay. Yeah, that one looks okay too. That's amazing. There's the other one. This is Algerian Chetoy. All right, let me try this first. I'll test it. I'm the guinea pig. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah, that tastes okay. You gonna try it? Just a real light berry. Um, with just a little bit of sweetness. But really amazing amount of, uh, some pretty, really good quality to that fig, given the, given the ripening conditions here. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, I told you not to eat the skin on that one. <laughs> All right. Moving on. Moving on. What else we got here? Okay, this was, uh, Mm, this was in, this was a Moscatel Verde that it kind of like, it had a bag on it, obviously. I just took it off. But uh, it's kind of drying on the on the tree, so I don't know if this is going to be any good. I've not tried these in kind of a, a dried state like this. It may not be developed. Yeah, it's not, it's not developed. All right. Okay, this one here, I can tell by the shape, is uh, Ponte Tresa. Ponte Tresa has this shape. It's like a... Um, it's like a teardrop without the top. There was also no bag on this one, so not sure what to expect when I cut this open. Okay, I'm seeing I'm seeing just a little bit of spoilage here, but maybe on the eye, and I'm just going to cut that off because just a little bit. But that is actually also looking really good there from Ponte Tresa. Let me just cut off that eye portion. Because I don't want to, I don't want to even think about eating any spoiled fig there. Okay, let me let me try this. I'll try it first. Okay, that's pretty good. Just tr just eat the pulp. Don't eat the skin. The skin's kind of tough. It it doesn't taste bad. The skin doesn't taste bad on this one. It's just kind of tough. Yeah. Was that how was it though? The flavor. 
That was good? Okay. I agree. I think that was that was pretty good. Ponte Tresa. And Ponte Tresa is a really late fig. It's one of, one of I, I think it's one of my latest figs. Uh, so this is one of my Dalmati or Stella types. Uh, I think this is actually Leo Longhishimo. And it feels really lightweight, so it's probably not fully fully uh ripe no this is not gonna be good no no you can just you can see that mm. it's no good let me just toss the rest of these here too all right it's nice just to be able to toss these things off into the bushes oh boy all right what is this one i cannot even remember what this is now um what was this what was this I'm forgetting what this one was. I have two of these. What is this? Oh, this is Paratjal Ramada. That's what this is. I, could, I, I couldn't remember, and then I realized the the, uh, the stripes are just ver barely visible on this. Where are you going, bud? You done? You gonna go play with your friends? Oh, okay. The stripes are just barely visible, and so that's what reminded me. Oh, yes, this is a uh, Paratjal Ramada. Um, which is a really tasty fig, but I have trouble with splitting with Pratjal Ramada, um, which limits its utility for me here. But it's good. It's a pretty fig, you know, it's striped. Okay, hmm. I don't know about that. I don't know if that's gonna be good or not. Kinda looks a little spoiled to me. Let me, eh, let me try it. Let me try a piece. Well, no, that's not good. Let me cut it. Let me try this one. Yeah, I'm thinking this is going to be the same. It looks very similar to me on the inside. It's just so cool out, you know? It's unusual for a fig to really like still have some flavor, some good flavor this late in the season. It's just too late in the season. Really surprised by the uh, Ponte Tresa and the Algerian Chetway that those are still even like quasi good. All right, what is this? What is this little one here? I think this is another Paracha Ramada. I'll know when I cut it open. Yeah, whatever it is, it's not right. So just toss that. Okay, these ones here, uh, these these do not look ripe at all. This is a uh, this is a Fico Seco. Oh, okay. Huh. That looks almost ripe. Let me try that. No. It's just not, it's not, uh, this is a Bertolino, a little tiny Bertolino. Also doesn't feel like it's ripened properly to me, but I can try it. Oh, there's another one, yeah. You're, that, that, you're right, buddy, that's the same. That might be ripe, let me try. Boy, a lot of seed crunch to that. You wanna try the, the pulp on that? Mm -hmm. It tastes okay. Bertolino was one that, that continued tasting good, um, you know, I did a video a few days ago where I was walking around tasting some figs and Vertolino was one of the only ones that still tasted good. Oh, this looks a little more developed here. It's another little Vertolino. It's kind of dried out. I stopped ir I stopped irrigating my figs like um, at least a week ago and they haven't gotten any water. Um, here, let me. Yeah, can you eat the pulp on that one? That one's actually good, it's sweet. It's like a little fruit roll up or something. Ooh. Yeah, that's probably our best tasting one today. Vertolino again, again. Better than I thought it would taste. I agree, better than I thought it would taste. All right, let's see what we got here. If I can get this bag open. Um, all right, this is a uh, Coldadam Mutante. Beautiful, beautiful fig. Ripens late. Uh, this one's split open just a little bit, but it might be salvageable here. This is one that can taste good um, late in the season. Look at the the deep red color on that. That looks that looks good. It looks like it might still taste good too. You just cut off that portion that was split open. Mm. It's okay. Just try the pulp there. You can try the pulp if you want. It's a little sour. But it's not bad. Do I? Did you like it? Mm 
Yeah, it is pretty good, isn't it? It's real flavorful, you know? All right, I got another... But just really sour. Yeah, it is kind of sour, isn't it? Um, I got another uh, mutante here. You can see those pretty stripes on there. Again, looks underripe to me, but it's it's still got a really really deep red color. Uh, let me try one of these. Good. Kind of similar. Um, it has some berry flavor, but it's it's tart. You know, it's not it's not sweet. That's like the opposite of sweet. Like a little bit sour. Mm -hmm. You think so? Okay, so this this looks like it might be actually well ripened. This is another Coldadam Mutante. And it's got some, I don't know if you can see it there, it's got some uh, honey that's dried in the eye. It was also in an organza bag, so it should be well protected. It'll just be a question of whether it's spoiled or not. Ooh, wow. Look at that. That's... Hold on, what? Arsha, that looks pretty good. Let me cut this up. Let me try it first here. I'll test it. Oh, wow. That's probably the best one of the evening. And my last one. So that was, uh, that was pretty good. Mm. Did you like that? Mm -hmm. Let me, I'm going to try eating the skin on this one. Yeah. That's okay. That's not bad. I wonder if that'll be my last fig of the season. It might be. At least outdoor grown fig of the season. Got a few in the green, in the uh, grow room still. All right. Well, that was just, uh, that was a post-season, the post-season fig, post-fig season tasting uh, there. And um, what do you think? Pretty, it was all right, wasn't it? I wasn't really expecting to get any fix today. So hopefully you enjoyed this. If you did, please hit subscribe and check out my website, www.youtube, no, <laughs> www.figlife.com.